Hi and welcome to Student Record Data Entrance System developed on the request of Mr. Alan Smith. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. Here we have a list box, text box, all of these are text box. We have combo box, combo box, the reds are text box and buttons. So we can always click on exit or reset to enter more data. Okay, right in there as the examination, uh, the course code, students number, and the name of this very student. Let's see, his name is Peter Oshodi. Right, and examination number, date of birth of Peter Oshodi. Let's see, and this day of, let's see, that and right that's good and peter is mere and where does he live he lives in number five ninja not a carry last so here let's enter his details very intelligent guy that's peter right there so i'm not surprised so if we click on result there we go first class for peter transcript there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and we use VBA programming language to put this together. So let's do that now guys. Hi and welcome to Excel student record management system. This uh, tutorial is at the request of this guy here called Alan Smith. Let me show you his details here. Please, please, please. Can you? create a student record data entry system okay so it's going to be data rec data record entry system in excel so i'm going to change that all right so let's start by going to the developer and right here we select visual basic but if you don't have your developer tab there what i advise you to do is to go to file make sure you select your options my options might not be visible but there's an option there then you select customize ribbon and once the customized ribbon is selected you should be able to see developer make sure this developer checkbox is checked and all you then need to do is just to click on the ok button and that's all there is to it once that is done you should be able to see this menu up here developer and select visual basic or you can select alt f11 the shortcut so let's click on visual basic the next thing is for you to go straight to the insert and let's select user form and once the user form is selected i would like to define the size of my form to be approximately let's say the width is going to be about 1000 and let me move this out so that you guys can see what I'm about to do the width come right down here yeah you see where we have width and make that 1024 and as for the height I'm gonna make the height about let's go for about maybe 800 I can always reduce that so now that you guys have seen that the next thing to do is I might as well finish up the design of this form let's come right down here where we have the form i'm going to change the color of the form to something dark let's say green yeah all right that is fine so let's readjust this thing move it back to where it was and peg it there somewhere okay that is done now let's grab a frame so I'm gonna go for this one here just enter this frame right here and this frame itself I'm going to change the color of that very frame let's come right down here and see if we can change the color to something lighter the back color okay that looks a bit pronounced let's see maybe the other one will be better I think I'm gonna settle for this one right that's what i'm going to set for okay the content on the frame itself the text content i'm going to get rid of that 
let's see where's the text content is right here in the caption just get rid of that we don't need that all right so we can even copy this frame across so i'm going to copy that same frame minimize it before copying it so that i will have room to paste the other one place and i need one more there we go we have my three frames there so one is going to be right down here as well so that's fine okay this is how it looks like when i run it there but i like to change the back color again so i can have double color in there so let's click on that i'm going to change the back color to the same color like the frame now these very frames let's change their color to the green okay then i will now copy this frame and place another frame right inside and i'll get back to you guys so right in here i'm just going to show you one first then you will know what is meant to be done with the others so i'm just going to change this frame now there we go and get rid of the text all right so i'm going to repeat exactly the same thing to, for the uh, to the others okay all done and this is the end result of the interface now all right let's add some components right there the first one is going to be here let's add the following one labels that's one label here and i need text box right there okay so let's change the size of this then we can copy it across font size let's make that about maybe 16 bold 16 all right that's not too bad there so we can now copy this across and now we just to speed it up all right guys this is how the interface looks like you see this very text box here let's change that text box and this text box we change them all to multi-line so let's look for multi-line here there we go multi-line make that true and that's it and this one is also multi-line is true as well okay so that is it all sorted that is it now let's run it and you guys see how it looks like before we start with the coding there that's how the interface looks right now so let's start with the coding because there's nothing happening here so close that oh before i start with the coding i better save it go to file let's save as so i'm going to save it as excel underscore student underscore record yeah but we have to change save as type we must change that to excel macro enable look at that and i'm going to save it right in here excel student record data entry form so let's save it right there there that is saved okay the next thing i'm going to do now is to let's take care of the exit button first so i'm going to double click on the exit button and right underneath here i'm going to enter as follows and these lines of code will definitely end the system so but the choice is yours if i click on it now let's try it out you see if i say no i do not want to exit the system I want to exit the system and that's it so the next one is to let's take care of reset and for the reset button let's double click on the reset right there those are the lines of code for the reset button if you guys notice I'm actually calling frame 4 here because all of my text field here are all on frame 4 this very frame here look at it is frame 4 Okay, that's why I've called those but I also need to be able to clear this so let's come in here copy the lines of code for that so I'm gonna clear that as well and paste that underneath here dot let's say text equals there 
and I'm going to repeat the same thing for the next one there. This other combo box, gender is called. Um, come in here, paste that there, and that is for gender. There, and one more. You see this very one that has no name, so let's just call that txt transcript. Txt transcript. So we want to be able to clear that as well. There, and that is my clear the code for all the clears from here down here. All right, let's try it all out. So supposing I have some data in here and here and we're going to need to change some stuff in here. Let's change this. I'm going to have to change the font size here. Click on clear. That's it. Or play. Exit. That is fine. Let's come right here and increase the font size of these ones. Come right here and select that. And let's change the font size of those two too. I want to make them 16 bold just like the other ones. So we'll make that bold 16. Okay, that's fine. And what about this other one here? Let's make that about 12. Yeah, we're not gonna make that bold. So that's fine. Now the next thing I like to do is Form load. I would like the form load to add the course code and gender. Okay, let's double click on the form load itself. Right there. So I'm going to change that to form load. Where is it? Load. Or oh, initialize. Okay. Form initialize. There we go. That's it right here. So paste that in there. Dot add as follows. So I'm going to add a cross code as a cross code. And do that. So let's paste that underneath here. Yeah. And just change this one around. Maybe it's seven, seven. So those are the course code that we can select anyone there. This will be six, seven, eight. Oh, let's put a six here then. Nine. This will be seven. Zero. Seven one and seven two. Those are the course codes sorted. Now let's take care of gender case of gender yeah, dot add it's going to be male or female anyway okay let's say we add the very first one there's nothing in there and add the second one giving the user the option to select so this is going to be female and this will be male and here let's add space here as well there we go all right let's try it out and see how it's going to look like let's click on run there cost code gender female then we can enter the details in here all right that's fine looking good say clear and we can clear it as well that is beautiful now the next thing I like to do now is let's work on this getting the data here okay that will be the next thing but for now I'm going to call it the end of the first part of the tutorial and on the second part we can start with the rest coding. See you guys shortly.